so they don't pay any attention to the peripheral damage these things cause. You know, we can do enough damage to our world that it doesn't survive. And it doesn't seem to enter their head that the world, the earth is alive. It's alive. It takes in energy from the sun. It produces all its life. And, uh, you know, we, we affect its basic operation, its, uh, its survival. There was um, an incredibly big tsunami in the Indian Ocean that um, was devastating for uh, not only Sumatra and Indonesia, but Thailand, India, Malaysia, and even the, uh, west, the east coast of Africa. It was uh, caused by a, an earthquake, a shift under the Indian Ocean. Now, we know that the technology is out there and many nations can induce earthquakes. In fact, there's been an effort for probably the last 30, 40 years to control all natural processes since they would give you a tremendous advantage in war. Uh, and the U.S. tried to do some uh, weather modification, for example, during the uh, the war in in, in uh, Vietnam. And they, I think they called it Pro, uh, Project Sky Fury or something like that. And they were trying to control lightning and uh, monsoon rains. But uh, they, so the earthquake technology is out there. It's usable. Probably U.S. Russia, Japan, China, maybe India. So there's quite a few countries would have this ability. The earthquake was not the usual. Uh, and there's even a dispute over where the center was located. Australia claims it's about 350 miles south of where the United States says it was. And so there's not a agreement on the location of the epicenter. There was no preliminary warning that there would be an earthquake. Usually there are earth tremors that are picked up by the local uh, centers, earthquake centers. They can pick up these tremors and they know it's building up to an earthquake but there wasn't any preliminary. There were no identified aftershocks. Now there were tremors after, but they were, there was none that was large enough to be identified as an aftershock. The uh, people, in fact, uh, when they felt some of these tremors, they prepared for a second tidal wave, which never came. Uh, if you know anything about artificial earthquakes, uh, such as we had with the nuclear weapon testing in Nevada. You know that there's, uh, the earthquake, say, is 9 or 8 on the Richter scale. If the after effect is two orders of magnitude down, so say 9 goes down to 7, it's an artificial earthquake. If it goes from uh, 9 to 8, it's probably a natural earthquake because the uh, artificial ones seem to give an artificial push to the plates. And there's, it's because it doesn't come from a rhythmic uh, pulsing of the earth, then the aftershock falls to a much lower level because it's artificial, I think, basically. So there was no aftershock and there was no preliminary. We know it can be formed artificially. There's dispute over where the center is. And of course, there was a lot of going on with communication. Diego Garcia was warned, and the people weren't warned. So things like that happened. I also found out that the, a ship uh, run by SAIC Incorporated, which is a, a kind of governmental arm, 
80 percent of their work comes from the government. They're not traded publicly, so they're a company owned by the people who work in it. Uh, they were uh, sounding for oil and gas under the Indian Ocean right near the epicenter at the time it occurred. So that was another joker put into the situation. The follow-up uh, the day after the uh, large earthquake and tsunami, there was a uh, galactic gamma ray hit the uh, Earth's atmosphere. It was the largest one ever um, recorded, and it was quite extraordinary. Now, it came after the earthquake. However, uh, these gamma rays are also connected with a, a gravity wave, which comes ahead of the gamma ray. And so if, the, if there was a, a large gravity wave along with this uh, cosmic ray, it could have caused the earthquake. That, that is uh, right now the favored uh, scientific explanation. But nobody really has all the dots connected and can really lay out what happened. It certainly clearly was abnormal. Uh, and clearly, uh, they're looking for what caused it. The artificial creation of an earthquake could be done in several ways, but probably the one that would be most likely to be used uh, has to do with a facility like HARP. Now, uh, HARP, H-A-A-R-P, High Active Auroral Research Project, which the United States has uh, set up in Gakona, Alaska, which is somewhere between Anchorage and, and uh, Fairbanks, uh, is a ionospheric heater. It's a, a grid of, uh, I think there are 48 now, uh, transmission towers, but they're put in a grid, which is four, six by eight grid. So there's all these parallel transmission towers. They expect to have 150 when it's finished, but they do have 48 now, and it is operative. Uh, it sends a synchronized wave up to the ionosphere, and what happens is some of it comes back to the, reflects back to the Earth. Now, this is a very flexible, mobile um, array, and they can change the angle so that the returning rays go in different directions, so they can aim it. Uh, the returning waves are low and extra low frequency. They're, um, they're the, the long rays, long wave radio waves. And these are rhythmic, and they can go through the center of the Earth, and they can, if there's an instability somewhere, they can jar it with a rhythmic wave and cause an earthquake. Uh, they're being used now for several purposes. One is, uh, they're calling it deep Earth tomography. It's uh, like a, a mapping of the inside of the Earth. They can, um, they've now located the core of the Earth. They found that you have a solid um, mantle, and then inside is a, a molten uh, metal core, and then inside of that is another solid core. And they, so they're studying this, uh, what's going on in, internally in the Earth itself. And uh, they, they're looking for underground bunkers and for underground oil and gas supplies, that sort of thing. So m much of their funding from Congress is coming for uh, deep earth tomography. But it can also be used to be a direct uh, wave weapon and cause earthquakes. And it could even cause an earthquake 
accidentally because they were looking